Okay, so we're on the fourth unit of the course now. We're looking at the fact that you can upload your videos from Screencast-O-Matic directly into your YouTube channel. So you just simply know how to set up your YouTube channel and to do that you need a Gmail account. I'm gonna show you how to set up your channel if you haven't already set it up. Uh, once you've linked your Screencast-O-Matic to your YouTube, then it should always be linked. And it's just a matter of putting in the uh, basically your Gmail account and your password. The big advantage of putting your videos onto YouTube is that you can upload them onto YouTube. You can set them as unlisted. Don't set them as private. It, it, it's too tricky because you need to individually put the email addresses of all the people you want to share the videos with. Upload them as unlisted and then just share the link with whoever you want to visit uh, or to watch the videos. Unlisted videos are not registered, they're not indexed on YouTube, so people can't search for them. So that's a really good way to work. And of course, once you've uploaded a video onto YouTube, it's so easy then for students to play it. So for example, they can play it on their telephones, they can uh, play it on, obviously on a computer. Uh, you can obviously get the embed code on YouTube and then embed it into a blog or wiki or red model or Google Classroom or anywhere, anywhere that will accept an embed code will work with a YouTube uh, video. In fact, really, literally everything will work with YouTube because everything needs to work with YouTube. And of course, you can just share the link to the YouTube video as well. Now, of course, the other thing to think about in the long run, not particularly on this course, is that, of course, once you've got a YouTube channel, if you've got a good idea, you could monetize it. Okay, now that's beyond this course, but Screencast-O-Matic could do that job for you, okay, because Screencast-O-Matic is good enough as a technology if you paid the additional money to get the editing to start to make really professional videos, a bit like the one I'm doing now. So we're going to start with YouTube. I think you're going to find this interesting. Hopefully, again, it's going to open up your eyes to lots of things, not just within um, the framework of this course, but things that you might want to do for other reasons. When we talked about the feedback idea, this is how I do it. So I give feedback to students by opening up their work, marking the things I want to talk about, turning on Screencast-O-Matic, recording myself, uploading it on to YouTube, and then setting it as unlisted and sharing the link with the student. The student can play the video and listen to their feedback. And after a, a, a period of time, I can say, I'm going to delete it. But always remember, if you upload those videos, the most important thing is to set them as unlisted and then people can't search for them. Let's get started.